I am super excited to be here at Mobile World Congress with Harkirat from NextGen Infraco and Rakesh from ISAT. A uh, pleasure to be here, guys, with you. So, Africa, a lot happening. So, tell us, Harkirat, how's the 5G infrastructure build and the role NGIC has played today? So, from our NGIC perspective, we are building the first model in Africa that will be looking at breaking some of the paradigm that exists in the market. So we are bringing in network as a service model that allows all the MNOs to roam freely on our network. Freely means it like seamlessly on the infrastructure, reducing the cost of CapEx, OPEX, and also from a spectrum perspective, it allows them to deliver services at a very low cost. That's fantastic. And I think Rakesh, ISAT has played a role here. Right, so could you talk a little bit about your partnership with Nokia and what you've been doing as well? Certainly, um, we operate in multiple countries as we speak, and we also give different level of services, including all technologies. Uh, our model of network as a service is a complete turnkey where we do power tower, uh, RAN system, backhaul. Uh, in backhaul, wherever terrestrial is not available, we do satellite as well. So in this case, uh, Nokia is really helpful because firstly, it gives me all technologies starting from 2G. Whatever we say about the data, uh, voice or um, low cost voice is still plays a major role in mm -hmm. Africa. And on top of it, we are trying to integrate our services for multiple mobile operators in different countries. And hence is a seamless integration of Nokia that has helped us to offer network as a service as a full concept. What do you think we need to change from a regulatory standpoint to make these models, you know, move? I think from a regulatory perspective, especially looking into where what, what we are doing in Ghana, we had a lot of support from the regulator. Uh, they did a lot of work previously to really understand how to open up the telecom market in Ghana. So from a, from a regulator perspective, we are expecting the same model is deployed in multiple countries. Uh, there is a learning exercise, exchange of experiences between different countries to create a true borderless network based on network as a service. I think partnerships play a really important role as we bring in more parts. So what kind of key partners do you think we need to build to do something like this? Uh, the complete ecosystem starting from um, regulatory, the government, coming to uh, different stakeholders including the communities starting from the technology provider. Yes, uh, tower companies also play the major role because they still have the biggest assets which can be used and can be better utilized as well. So yes, partnership is the key uh, way forward to make this concept as a success. Thank you, Rakesh. I think it's uh, fantastic to build initiatives that help us bridge the digital divide. Partnerships are important. Regulatory collaboration is very important. And uh, I would like to thank both of you for being part of what we built together and trusting Nokia as a partner. Thank you so much. Thank you, Doug.